for more than 21 years with excellence. With these very few words, friends, I present before you, Ever Dynamic, your presenter just now starting is first Vice District Governor, Saurav Kant. Over to you, Saurav. Thank you, Madam, for your kind words. You have been a wonderful mentor to me. For the last many days, you are working so hard with me with so much patience and sincerity and dedication and uh, obliged and honored to you. Chairperson of today's leadership seminar, PID area leader, Land R. Morgan, sir, inaugural officer, international director, Land VP Nandu Kumarji, MCC Land San Saju Pathadanji, and MD GLT coordinator, who is a mastermind behind this program, Land G. Venu Kumarji, and coordinators who have been very supportive and active, Land Saji Samuelji and Land Professor Samsonji, all the land leaders from MD 318 the God's own country, Kerala, where you belong from all of you, and also from all over India, and Isame, especially from my multiple 321E. And I am happy to see in the chat box that I'm having two ALLI colleagues also here, Lion Rajeshji and Lion Venkat Chalamji, with whom we had a wonderful time at the ALLI in Kathmandu in April 2017. <clears throat> I am grateful to the Isame leadership headed by PID Lion Narendra Bhandari ji, entire GAT team for giving all of us FDIs an opportunity to sharpen our skills and also with co collaborating with lion leaders from different parts of constitutional area six. I'm motivated and excited to be here today in, your, in this wonderful, beautiful place, which has not only great donors like VP Nand Kumar ji, ID, but has also so many grants to its credit. Its credit. You have so many permanent projects, so many LCI grants, and to name a few, you have community centers, you have schools, hospitals, vocational training centers, especially for the physically challenged. And I have also got their names. It is Solace, Heaven, Rainbow, Passion, and many more. Child welfare centers are there, old age okay. homes are there, epilepsy clinic is there, dialysis centers are there, artificial limb centers you are managing, audiography and speech pathology, water treatment plant, and many, many more other projects you are having. So I'm very much excited and I am here to learn from all of you and share my experiences and little bit of learning that I have done. To start with, as it is said that where there is a need, there is a line. So there is LCIF. So I, to begin with, I'm presenting with before you a question and may I request Professor Samson to read back the comments to me. The question is, till now, how much has LCIF given as grants worldwide? Professor Samson, you please make me aware of the messages from the audience and the participants. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. One billion is, uh, is one answer. Okay, one okay. billion. Okay. Any more? 100 million is another answer, 100 million. Okay, something else? <coughs> well, let's put th things together and may I make the answer to the question. The answer is $1.1 billion through more than 16,000 grants till now. This is what LCIF has given to the entire world. And LCIF is the best NGO of the world as we are all are aware and we are proud of it. We are proud to be of a line member and we are proud of our this grant giving organization who is funding so many of the projects throughout the world. And our organization has been very active. <laughs> Professor Samson, may I request uh, kindly mute everyone because I may not be needing the audio responses. Done, sir, done. Yeah, thank you. So in the coronavirus epidemic also, our organization was very active in helping the lions of the world, the people of the world. And as you can see in the, through the COVID-19 frontline relief grant update, you can see the screen, 377 LCI grants have been awarded totaling 64.4 million US dollars till now. And in different constitutional areas, the grant has been given. And as you can see in our constitutional area six in this chart, you can see 
it is 18.92 million dollars through 109 grants so this is what our organization does this is what is done with our money that is we are giving to through the donations this is how lcif is helping the humanity to proceed with to begin with my subject there are different types of grants through which lcif is funding our projects the, you can see on the screen there are matching grants disaster grants site first grants diabetes grants lions quest grants district and club community impact grant childhood cancer grants hunger grant leo services grants so these are different types of grants that our lcif is giving us our funding our projects through these grants there are different criteria for different types of grants in various fields and the different criteria are for local matching funding they are different for club level district level md level means at every level there are different criteria for different types of grants and for different types of projects also there are different types of grants available and the technical route technical route is also different in various cases like in site first grant you are aware that there are technical advisors who review the grant and lions involvement is necessary for each type of grant and each type of funding because without the visibility of lions then lcif funding is not so easily available the first and the most important grants is the matching grants which was known as standard grants also and it funds most of the projects it is ranges from us dollar 10000 to 1 lakh dollars we get the grants in this limit and this is uh, means we can get most of the uh, our projects are covered under this grants be it school be it, be it skill development centers be it orphanages old age homes medical care and many many other grants so many grants are covered it under this and the minimum requirement for the grants is 10000 dollars and maximum available funds are 1 lakh dollar this helps us to establish or expand lions related projects addressing crit critical human and social needs this can be used for funding equipment scouts of projects serving large populations and this grant is available for districts and multiple districts both and the matching funds that we have to make available the most important thing for the matching thing matching fund is that before applying for the grant we should have the matching funds 25% available with us in cash and that should be deposited in the bank account opened for the purpose and there is one more important thing that for one district at a time there cannot be more than two open grants means the accounts have to be submitted all reports have to be presented forms have to be to filled before obtaining the next grants and for the multiple it, it depends upon the number of district whatever number of districts are there so it is a very important grant and uh, this is more availed in most of the cases by our clubs by our projects and the one more important thing is necessary that there should be at least two clubs joining hands together the funds to, so should be joined together then only we can apply for this grant the next important grant is disaster grant as you have seen in the recent times we are affected by floods cyclones and many other na natural disasters during the time of natural disasters all of a sudden we are in need of funds and so through emergency grants we can get a grant of us dollar 10000 for the emergency reliefs like we have cyclones we have floods we have brought so many other natural disasters we can apply for these grants there are community recovery grants also which fund for the short short term clean repair assistance and immediate needs uh, are met through this community recovery grants these grants can be applied within 60 days after the disaster is over and they can be done for many purposes for cleaning repairs maintenance but they can't fund long term maintenance long term uh, uh, construction projects etc so it is for the short term uh, uh, of the uh, purposes and for this purpose we can get a grant of us dollar 20000 from the lions club international foundation the emergency grant which is a regular grant that can be used for the purpose of medicine water food and immediate relief to the sufferers then there is a disaster preparedness preparedness grants also because many areas are prone to floods cyclones and many other natural disasters like odisha and some other parts of the country also where there is a known 
that they are, may, are occurring many types of natural disasters. So Lions International pro provides US dollar to uh, 10,000 in advance for such type of uh, disasters, such type of emergencies. So that can be also availed for the purpose as above. And then there are major catastrophic grants that can't be applied by the Lions Clubs, but Lions Clubs International Foundation uh, chairperson and the international president, when they think it appropriate, they allot a grant of $1 lakh dollars and more for this purpose. I'm happy to inform, as you can see, that we, had, we have got an emergency grants, grant from the international just two days back. It is 17th August, we have received a grant. And we have received a mail confirming that grant is allotted for the emergency relief for our district. So you can see how prompt is international. Within two, three days, we have received this grant and we are working, we are already started helping the poor, helping the needy who have suffered from the natural disasters. Then th this is a uh, story, success story from that multiple of my mentor, Lion Jayanti Ji, uh, West Bengal, wherein with the partnership with Coal India and Tata project, 28 water filtration systems were established and 35 million liters of clean water is provided per year. This is through that grant, which we, are, we were talking about in few slides back, that is community recovery grants. It is granted through that and the funding from the, some corporate entities like Coal India and Tata, through which we have been able to provide 35 million liters of clean water per day and through 28 filter, filtration systems. Then there is a most popular grant, which is very old and pr uh, primary grant of Lions International, because everyone knows that site first is our motto. And Hel Heller, Helen Keller has challenged us to be the Knights of the Blind. And this helps in many, many types of, this, uh, this serves many types of purposes. For reversible blindness provides services to those with blindness or visual impairment. It is for the checkup purpose, for the operation purpose, and many, many other purposes. This is used for funding and renovation, renovation of existing infrastructure and equipments for the purpose of eye checkup, eye surgery, and many other things. And this provides a comprehensive eye care system, service delivery, and education. It is also used for training purposes and many, many other things. This is applicable for districts and multiple districts and matching funds are re not required in every cases. They are required for select equipments only. And there are deadlines also for applying matching grants and site first grants. This is 90 days before the site first advisory committee meeting. So we have to take care of the deadlines also before applying for the grants. Now I, have pre I am presenting a success story of my multiple district. 321. This is a project of District 321 C1, where in 1976, a trust deed was executed. 3,200 square feet of land was granted by Ghaziabad Development Authority. And there is a 12,000 square feet state of art construction in which there is OT and several other facilities. 80,000 cataract surgeries have been performed at 50% normal price that is taken in other. Uh, hospitals. And there is a diabetes care center also. 12,500 children are examined. 70, 1,700 have been identified with defective vision. 12,000 surgeries are done every year. And another grant of $159,471 for a retinotherapy clinic has also be, been granted. So this is the success story of site first grants which we have experienced in our multiple, we have received and we are proud of this project. And for the site first, there is a site first advisory committee. And most importantly, there are technical advisors like Dr. Kuldeep Suhas is the technical advisor for North and West. And Dr. Divesh P. Shah is the technical advisor for East and South. So they are very helpful and we have to be in touch with them if we want to avail such types of grants. Then, as you all know, that diabetes is the biggest problem of modern days, and in many cases, it remains unnoticed, undetected. There are 463 million suffering known cases from diabetes. University man. This grant is available from a range of $10,000 to $1,50,000. 50, 
And for multiple districts, this ranges from $10,000 to $250,000. These grants can be utilized for diabetes camps, screening, health facilities, awareness, and many other purposes. We can also obtain equipments that are necessary for the diabetes purpose and to counter the effects of diabetes also, we can apply and get that equip those equipments also through these grants. We can organize trainings for the people, we can create awareness and we can also train the social workers, social workers who, who will be helpful in making the people aware about the diabetes because most in cases diabetes remains unnoticed. So we have a success story here from your very own multiple 318 where we have received a grant of $71,610. And it is mentioned here that many people are suffering from diabetes in Kerala and 57% of cases are still undiagnosed. So in collaboration with Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, and uh, we have been able to provide training to Lions, ASHA workers and many others. And uh, in the last six months, 145 ASHA workers were trained who were very helpful in getting the people diagnosed and checked. 33 events held, were held and 72,500 persons were screened for diabetes. So this is the success of this diabetes grant that we have received for the state of Kerala, multiple 318. And there, it, it, there is a condition for this grant that at a time only two grants can be applied and uh, two grants, when one grant is closed, then only one another grant can be applied. This is the condition for the district level. The next grant is Lions Quest grant. As you know, the adolescent age is very critical when there is time that a child can go anyway, be it a good way or wrong way. So Lions International has been helping in this very effectively. And there are three types of programs for the uh, children. It is for the growing age, that is skills for the growing age at five to nine years. Then there is a skills for adolescence, that is 10 to 14 years, then skills for action 14 to 19 years. And there are many types of grants also, program grants that are for large, large investments, large funds, large projects. It is for training purposes, purchase of textbooks, translation, adoption of curriculum, production and print of printing material, research, and many other things. But this grants needs endorsement and support of Ministry of Education or other authorities. And in this grant, we are actually implementing the course in the syllabus, in the school book, in the for the welfare of the child. So this is the most important and biggest grant. This, this is $50,000 for the districts and one lakh 50,000 for the multiple districts. Then there are promotional grants that support informational seminars, for the parents, for the schools, where we can promote our Lions Quest. And in this, we receive a grant of US dollar 1,500. And then there is a one more grant community partnership grants that funds pilot implementation and expansion. The expenditure can be done more or less in the same manner as in the program grants. The uh, heads of expenses are the same, but the grant received in this is US dollar 15,000. Then there is a childhood cancer grant. As you know, this is the most dreaded disease and we can bear our suffering, but we can't bear sufferings of young children who suffer for, from cancer. And it is very uh, bad thing, very unfortunate for us that we have a lot of children suffering from cancer. And Lions International understanding this problem has come out with this grant program wherein $10,000 to $150,000 is being given as grants. And this grant is being given to improve the quality of life for children who are suffering, who are fighting with cancer, and also to make life easy for them, for their family, for their relatives who are looking after them. In this grant, Lions International expects us that we have to invest the funds in infrastructure facilities for shelter homes, for guest houses, rest houses, where we can provide recreational facilities to children, where we can uh, provide some reading material and also for transportation of patients, we can provide some vehicles from the station or airport to the hospitals. And mostly Lions International expects us that we collaborate with government hospitals for this purpose. 
and this grant is also available for districts and multiple districts both. The matching fund requirement is 25% for us and 50% for the developed countries. And there is also a criteria in this grant also that only one grant can be availed by a district at a time. So we can also, if need be, apply for this grant from Lions International. Now I have a question and I would request Professor Sampson to kindly uh, read out the chat box. The question is, does childhood cancer grants fund purchase of equipments for treatment? Does childhood cancer grants fund purchase of equipments for treatment? There is an answer from uh, Lion SP Singh, no. No, okay, any other? From Ragini Chandra also, no. Bhanu Sunshine also from no. Okay, you are very right. Everyone is very right and they are from my district. I welcome them all to here uh, in this presentation. Yeah, answer is no. The grant is intended for the purpose of facilities like guest houses, recreation centers, and for the purpose of transportation and palliative care. These are the purposes for this grant is allotted. So Lance International doesn't expect us to spend the funds for the purchase of equipments for cancer treatments as they are very high end and very expensive and that can be availed in such type of grants. The next grant is hunger grants. It is sad but true that even now 800 million people worldwide go to the bed hungry. It is very unfortunate that so many people even now remain hungry wherein we are spending lots of food and material. So Lions under, International understanding this need has created hunger grants wherein we get uh, grants of $10,000 to $1,50,000. This grant supports us for the hunger projects and especially they are uh, intended for the children and mostly we are trying for the schools, the school kitchens, etc. We are doing these grants. And this grant can be utilized for the purchase, purpose of uh, purchasing equipments for kitchen storage, for the purpose of cooking equipments, for the purpose of transportation of uh, these, what to say, uh, food from one place to another. Like we are serving foods to some uh, locality where people need it the most. And then this grant is also used for the purchase of furniture so that we can arrange for the facilities at the feeding center where we can do so. And uh, this grant is also applicable only for, this is only applicable for the districts and the matching fund requirement is 25%. And only one grant can be availed at a time. In, this is the limitation for this type of grant. And this is a success story again from your multiple, the multiple of Kerala, uh, multiple 318, the area of Kerala state. When in many uh, children were un undernutritioned, they were not having adequate food and thousands were receiving through care centers and many other things. And, in, uh, and in Kerala, there is one more thing that the children, uh, many children are having their food through the Anganwadis and Lions International understanding this need and your multiple has planned a project for this. And they have availed a grant of $95,000 to refurbish the kitchen dining facilities as I told earlier in those 90 Anganwadis. Through these grant, uh, 2,200 children are being benefited each year. So this is a great achievement for the multiple district 318, the state of Kerala, where you have been able to serve the purpose of feeding the children and giving them good, nutritious, proper food. You have been able to upgrade the kitchens of the Anganwadis and hats off to you, my salute to all the leadership of Kerala. Moving forward, we have the Leo service grants also to promote the Leos, to make them also involved in the service projects for this purpose. Alliance International, Lions Club International Foundation is giving a grant of US dollar 1500 to US dollar 2500. But the important thing is that this grant is allotted to the Leo, but the fund is received through the parent Lions Club through which they are sponsored. They only get and through the, them, the expenditure is being done. These grants can be used for small works like painting, cleaning of some parks or some, uh, you can say, uh, community. Old age home.
or many other things like that. And I have seen a grant where sensory garden for people was also maintained with the help of this grant. And one grant only is available in 12 months period. In 12 months, we, we can get only one such type of grants. And 25% margin money is also needed in this type of grant. So, Ramji, your video has been cut off. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Put back your video. Okay, sorry. Now, no it, problem. now it is on? There is a, the, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a question also, sir. Waiting. Question we can take later. All right, hold, hold the questions for later. Okay. Now, the next grant is the District Club and Community Impact Grants. This is a new grant. And this helps support a variety of local humanitarian service uh, service activities. And this grant, the Lions, Inter Lions Club International Foundation, is given for the districts and club also. Suppose the club donates dollar five thousand in a year, then they can apply for a grant of fifteen percent of donated amount under this category. Similarly, if a district uh, donates a fund of dollar ten thousand, they can also apply for a grant of 50, 15 percent means the minimum requirement is of funds is $5,000 and $10,000 for the clubs and district respectively. And there is one more important thing that the grant that you can get, that you get from this uh, district community grants that you can utilize for the purpose of as a margin money for some other grant also. You can keep that. And more important thing is that you can carry forward this grant up to 15 fiscal years. So this is a very useful thing for the clubs. And I have to bring a success story of my own district. Here, we have uh, received a grant of around 4,50,000, by which we, have, uh, we were able to install the six water coolers. The cost of project of one water cooler, RO water purifier, was rupees 75,000. Being motivated my, by my district governor, who became the council chairperson for the next year and Dr. Chitesh Sharma. I also donated equal amount of money. So we were able to install 12 such projects in our district, bringing a very good PR. And also it is very useful for general people for giving them pure, clear, clean water, safe water and cold water in summers. So it is very useful. In this way, we utilize this PR grants received from Lions International. And then I being motivated also uh, helped in this event. Then there are important deadlines to remember before applying for a grant. The August 11 to 17, just now, the LCI Board of Trustee meeting is concluded. And I'm very happy to learn that uh, multiple 318 has received three grants. I have seen the report. Three grants have been received by multiple 318. And I have seen that in the west side of our country, $150,000 have been allotted for the purpose of this uh, uh, quest grant. So it is very important. Uh, we have, uh, then the next deadline is October. This is for LCI grant application to be considered in January. Then January 12 to 18, we have LCI board of trustee meeting where the applications will be put up. Then fe February, we have LCI grant application deadline for consideration in May. Then May, we have grant application deadline for consideration in August. And also there are site first grant deadlines that I have told you early. It is earlier, it is 90 days prior to the start of site first advisory committee meeting. So these deadlines are very important to be followed before applying for a grant. Then there is a life cycle of grant. The first and foremost phase is to perform the need assessment, which is most important. Then we review the uh, uh, review grant application and criteria that will enable us to get the grants. Then we discuss the project ideas with LCIF, our local leaders and experienced people who have already applied and availed the grants. And then we complete the application and further we submit the application to LCIF according to the deadlines as mentioned earlier. Then LCIF will provide feedback on the application. If needed, we have to revise or we have to give additional information and later on, grant uh, proposal reviewed by LCIF is given to the board or advisory committee and applicant notified. But then thereafter, the applicant is notified of board or committee's de uh, decision. For approved projects, funds are disbursed. Once grant condition is met, 
then project begins then there on we submit the progress reports to lcif and when the project is complete final report is to be submitted that is very important because before we submit the final uh, this uh, report the grant application is not closed and before the grant application is closed we can't apply for another grant as i have mentioned the uh, limits for each type of grants then there is there are very important these uh, links on the lands website are available uh, lands clubs uh, this is lci grants toolkit all links are there all emails are there all websites are there you can visit the website and find a lot of resources for applying for reading about the grant for the criteria as everything and i have taken a screenshot just i am making you go through it it is the lci grant toolkit on the website you will visit this website and you will find every resources about the grants here it is the start page you are you can see resource for applicants and resource for grantees there are many links you can click and you can move on for the next page then there are resource for applicants you can see the guide to lci grants grant deadlines life cycle what whatever i have mentioned everything is available there the incentives for applying for a grant everything is there resources for grantees and then there are reporting forms as i mentioned that reporting forms are also required matching grants you can get information about matching grants your criteria and application and reporting form everything is there you can download you can read it and you can apply for the grants Uh, accordingly here you can see there is information for district and club community impact grants about dcg frequently asked questions everything reporting form everything is here you can just click at form or the link will open and you can read and go through the entire details then there are details about the diabetes grants and the re new requirement that is from 1st july of 25% of contribution that is also mentioned site first grants you can uh, also see the list of site first technical advisors i have as i have mentioned the names the reporting form is there the area application the email everything is here so you can just visit this website about hunger grants you can find about childhood cancer grants you can find disaster grants you can find everything is there leo service grant is there lands cash grants is there these every important material is available and then there are 10 important tips for applying a grant the first step is that the most important thing is to identify a project that addresses an unmet humanitarian need means the project should be such that it should be according to the community needs assessment and it should be beyond the capacity of local lands that type of project should be selected it should be relevant for your community for your local needs and lands involvement is essential for grant of every type of project so it is the first and foremost thing second important tip is we have to discuss our project with uh, those who can provide guidance those who have prior uh, experience of applying and getting grants our leaders our lcif board our everyone is ready to help and we can ask them any question about it then we we have to determine which type of lcif grant is applicable for our project in many cases as i have mentioned matching grants are applicable but there are various other grants uh, grants also so we should consider before applying which grant is applicable for our project but we have to partner with lcif to uh, to ensure a successful application we have to take their help their guidelines their feedback everything has to be taken then it will be very easy for us to get the grants before applying Uh, which grant programs have the requirement of matching funds some have match most of them have matching funds requirement matching funds should be collected beforehand and they should be deposited in the bank accounts as mentioned and there should be a specific separate bank accounts for them the kind grants the kind uh, uh, amount the kind thing is not available we have to use the cash only kind will be add benefit to the grant to the applicability and availability of the grant uh, grant but they will not be the criteria for getting the grant so cash availability is most important and you can involve the lands who have this uh, commitment to donate to be part of the this project who can be involved we have to read and answer all questions of the applications thoroughly and we have to provide all the supporting documents required like pro forma invoices and many other things and budget is to be prepared the format is given in this website and the budget should should be in dollars so that is also be remember to be remembered 
that will help in getting the grants easily and smoothly. And the seventh tip, important tip is, we should include uh, the required application approvals, like uh, legal requirements, the government permissions, many other things are needed. So we should take care of them also. That is very important to be considered by LCIF uh, to be approved or endorsed. And we have to understand how to submit an application, how a grant application has to be submitted. It is very important by way of mail, and we have to send the complete application with all the required informations. We have to take care of the deadlines. As I have already mentioned, there are several deadlines. Three times the board meets, so before 90 days. And before that, also, there are several formalities. We have to get it cleared from our club, our district, or multiple. Then only the grant reaches that stage that we are in the process of getting the grants. And then the most important things after submitting, after doing everything, after replying, we have to be patient after submitting the grant. We have to wait. We have to respond for the queries. And we have to be very optimistic. And many applications are approved fully. Some are partly. And some may be rejected. But there may be some technical snacks or something like that. So if we uh, use these tips, use our website, the that LCIF toolkit, we read it we do the, do the community needs assessment and everything, then there are 100% chances that we would be successful in getting the Lions International grants and serving the society. We can serve with the funds, with the project, we can serve the society, we can solve the, uh, serve the purpose of our motto, our organization, we serve. I express my deep sense of gratitude to all those involved who, am, who I have named earlier also, our PID Nand Morgan sir, ID VP Nand Kumar ji, uh, PID Narin Bhandari ji, MCC San engineer Saju ji, line Dr. Deepak Chaudhary ji, line G Venu Kumar ji, line Saji Abraham Samuel, and line Professor Samson, the coordinators, and all line leaders and participants from multiple 318 and all other parts of the ISAME, especially for, from multiple 321E. And the, above all, my mentor, Lan Jayanti Malik, who has been very patiently guiding me through all these days. Thank you so much. And I am ready if you have any questions. So there are a few questions pending, sir. Yeah, you can please read out one by one. Pedro, sir, you are on mute. Hello. Uh, hello. Congratulations, Saurabh ji. Congratulations. Uh, you have stopped just one minute before your allotted time because 9.10 to 9.50 was the time given. But uh, congratulations. It was very nice presentation. Now Thank we you. will have five minutes to take the questions over to uh, technical coordinator, Land Samson, and the mentor, uh, Jayanti, madam. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, uh, a truckload of appreciations coming in and a few questions. Uh, question number one is, is it possible to share the materials maybe for the future reference? That is one question. Okay. It's not related no. to this. Okay. No. Right. Okay. No, can, I, can I just come in, please? Please. It's, all, it's on, now your turn. Your turn, madam. On this question, on this question uh, we were told by uh, PID Narendra Bhandari ji, that all these presentations will be uploaded on YouTube, uh, maybe later, but it will be available for everybody. Thank you. And we have another question. It is like many times it is seen the time grant is received, disaster is over and grant, be grant becomes meaningless. And can we have some kind of comment on this? If the grant application is properly filled and all informations are provided, grant is approved very quickly. But if there are queries, we have to respond to them very promptly because they have lots of applications pending from many other places. Yeah. We have another question from uh, Rishi Governor uh, 318B, line, uh, Prince Karia. Is there any limitation for district applying to maximum number of grants? Yeah, I have told that for the matching grants, there are two grants can be applied. It means there may be two open grants at a time for in case of matching grants. And there are similar other restrictions in cases of all other grants. In some places, two, some places, one. There are different from this different types of grants. Yeah, again, but, yeah. But for site first grant, there is no limit. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. 
for site first grant there is no limit thank you, for disaster grants also there is no limit okay ma'am thank you if you have disasters uh, you know in uh, more than one places uh, you can claim yeah okay again there is a question from uh, rishi cameron secretary of the 318b uh, lion mathu uh, is it required to open a separate account for matching money or matching grant for availing the grant yes as per the guidelines if grant amount is more than $10000 you have to open a separate account and the, for the matching funds also you have to open yeah, a separate yeah. account yeah rajesh i have a question yes ma'am uh, and this hunger grant can be given to a one lions club uh, means if if it is running a one uh, hunger project like permanently or something like that this district through district we can uh, take this grant and give to that uh, particular club i have to check it madam i am not sure about it okay, okay. so there is a question from lion sri kumar is there any club level grants Club level, I think there are not such grants available. Jenti ma'am will clarify more. Club level, I don't think there are any grants available. But most most <laughs> grants are at the club level. level. Yeah, the matching yeah. grant, site first grant, everything. Yeah, but but, but the for club two, two clubs, na? Uh, he was asking for about one club only. No, but you see, one club gets the grant. but they have to be associated with some yes, other clubs yes there there have to be participation of participation of other clubs at least but, two clubs should be involved for a grant project yeah there there are similar questions from uh, anil goel also whether question whether this grant can be given maybe for food bank etc to one single club so there are a lot of such kind of similar so questions answer is the same for that also right see what so what is the last one last one minute last one minute yeah, yeah. The, what what is the difference between emergency grant and disaster preparedness grant are they emergency same? emergency grant we get after the disaster happens and disaster preparedness we can get before the disaster happens in anticipation as many places we have regular cyclones and floods at some time of the year so people know what time we will be affected so we can get the grant beforehand good sir thank you very much may i please respond to uh, saurav's presentation one minute one minute madam yes Last yes minute. yes yes my friends i am really so impressed by saurav's presentation he was uh, i mean so informative and uh, very much to the point and he has covered everything i believe that has to do with the lci grants and that too within the time limit i'm so proud of you saurav and uh, this is a very important issue for all you know the lion members who are present here because we are uh, uh, always we are told to donate for the lcif we have to do that but at the same time we also apply for the grants and i am told that in especially in india we get more than three times back in grants than what we actually pay sourav has done it so nicely he has involved engaged the audience with questions and he has explained all the grants all the major points of the grants so nicely and um, you know because the, because the people were asking about the disaster grants you know in the last 50 years 390% increase of disasters so due to the weather you know weather disbalance uh, it has happened so the disaster grants have increased uh, many folds so he, my friends you have known from sourav about the site first grant diabetes grant especially in 318 you have you know you have received diabetes grants and i was just hearing today that you have received the childhood uh, cancer grant so i think it was very very specially useful for uh, md 318 and um, i i believe that all the people who are present here today have got a lot of knowledge and i think what our lion biju was saying in his presentation that the lions are investing so much for knowledge you know to make uh, leaders out of the lion members and we can see a, such a leader in shorav he is the first vdg 
first of all he is he is become knowledgeable so now okay. that he can answer so many things you know whatever people are asking he has become a knowledgeable leader congratulations sir thank, thank, so thank you very much thank you thank you thank you madam thank you jayanti madam thank you lion saurabh ji and uh, now we are about to close this program because time uh, 10 o'clock is the time for our uh, conclusion and this uh, padadan ji is here mcc sajju ji are you here in this platform if you are here please offer one minute felicitation because you could not address in the beginning uh, professor samson i think he is not here in this platform now he is not here sir he is not okay here. okay thank you very much uh, uh the presenters these um mentors national director nandakumar sir and the past national director area leader nirvin sir for making it happen here and the congratulations land professor samson this technical uh, coordinator congratulations land saji abraham chamuel district coordinator 318b the uh, marketing coordinator and administration coordinator congratulations land bs suresh kumar engineer bs suresh kumar of 318a Jos Muthalan of Three One H D and Titus Thomas of Three One H E for uh, promoting this event, and we need we need um, we had uh, 250 plus participants. Virgin Sir has uh, he he has he is in a meeting at Hyderabad. He has conveyed his blessings and uh, best wishes, and he wanted me to congratulate or uh, congratulate all the district coordinators for bringing this. Um, 250 plus participants here he will personally congratulate you uh, at the appropriate uh, time congratulations once again and uh, thank you participants for uh, being here and uh, thank you uh, and uh, time is up uh, samson ji do you like to add anything uh, nothing sir uh, overall the program was excellent we are getting a truck load of appreciations from all the participants kudos to all the presenters and uh, thanks to all the uh, participants also thank you thank you, thank you. so we will uh, uh, wind up saurabh ji and uh, very much congratulations thank and thank you presentation saurabh thank you organizers thank you thank you so much congrats a wonderful session thank you so much thank you all the line thank you for your appreciation thank you sir congrats sir thank you thank you thank you congratulations thank you congratulations sir congratulations everyone yes bahut bahut bye bye